Okay, this is my overgrown box. You might think it's only tomatoes. Um, this is my overflow because <laughs> there was not enough room in the box and now it's like way overgrown. My neighbor gave me some a small kombucha, which I stall. I'm not sure what it is, but that thing grew from a little teeny pot to that giant thing. And it started climbing my tomato thing, tomato cage. And let's see if we can see in there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, down there it had coiled onto the tomato plant so I cut it loose but you know if you if you don't pay attention then after a couple of days it starts attacking and then oh let's see where is it got a Japanese zucchini that's grown pretty quickly in the past week or so and that's in this cage as well the tomato cage it looks like we're about to get our second Japanese. Oops, where is it? Here we go. Japanese uh, cucumber. Oh, what did I say before? Anyway, Japanese cucumber. Uh, what else? We had an onion that was growing downstairs. So we broke it up and put it out here. Now it's being overgrown by tomato plants. There's another one. There, there's another one in there somewhere. Let's see. Oh, there. Wait. Yep. Way there on the far side. You see it? That's three. And I think there's one on the overflow. One, two, three, four. I think that. Oh, yeah. And then one deep. Deep in the jungle. Wait. Where'd it go? On the other side. Oh, yeah. Way over there. One, two. So there's all. There's three here. And then the other one. And then also, if you look over there, you can see beets. That's probably the second biggest one that we have. Let's see. So we have beef steak tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, overtaking the jalapeno plant here. But we've got got some good blossoms in there hopefully this plant will survive it's being pushed off at an angle by the tomato plant and let's see where else and I have some kind of super peppers some something or other I don't remember what it is but another spicy pepper thing and it's starting to blossom a lot smaller but it I, it recently went from a, kind of a tidy bush into a lot much stragglier thing. It may be trying to reach for a light out beyond the tomatoes now. I don't know. Let's see. This one was a uh, chocolate something or other tomato chocolate sprinkles or something like that. Uh, I, it was getting some kind of disease or something, so I kept cutting stuff back. So it got pretty scraggly, and now it's starting to fill out again. And this one is a yellow pear tomato plant and this thing is just taking over everything there and several random had to split them up so we had way too many of these uh, what were they called sun gold cherry tomatoes and they're filling out and that's actually what's on the overflow here and just in the past few days that thing just took off from scraggly little things to big bushy things and this is taking over the other uh, onion, if you can kind of see somewhere in there. There it is. Another onion plant. So, oh, and then of course the rosemary. That was our first, the first one that seemed pretty hardy right from the beginning. But man, these tomato plants, they grow so fast I have to untangle them every few days because it starts choking itself off and crowding its own new new branches okay here we go into the jungle 
Here we go. Da -da. There we go. Okay, that's my tour. Didn't look like this a few days ago.